Hey, it's Kevin uh, from JJ Hat Center. Uh, it's early, just kind of setting up the store. Nobody's here, so I'll probably get here any second. But I want to talk a little bit about, uh, about open crown hats. Uh, what is an open crown hat? It's this. When you see a hat that looks like this, a lot of people say, uh, is that a derby? What is that? Uh, is it supposed to be worn like that? No? Um, more open crown hats. Basically, what an open crown hat is, it's uh, the same thing that I'm wearing. It just hasn't been shaped in the crown yet. And the idea is that we could do it high, we could do it low, we could do it center crease, we could do it teardrop, we could do it pork pie, whatever you like, and you assume that the place has great steam and people who know how to use the steamer well, which JJ Hat Center is all that stuff. So, you know, yeah, it's the same basic thing that I'm wearing, um, pre-shaped. Now, uh, open crowns tend to be high. A lot of people like the idea of doing it, but then they see it and it's just too high for them. So there are high ones, there are low ones. Um, I'm gonna say this is a little high, but they come lower. Um, yeah, so the, the whole idea of making this crease on top is to lower it, you know? And you get them, you know, it's, it's too high. You know? So you make a crease, you lower it. You do this and it, it tapers the sides. Or also it could be just from grabbing it too, you know. Like when the hat's on the table, people tend to just grab it. So even if it didn't have pinches, it'll get pinches from just picking it up, you know. So that's, you know, all these things kind of just kind of happen, I guess. Um, there are some low crowns that are very, very low. Uh, we've got one called the Explorer, and then the Expedition with the big brim. Oop, that's too small in some cuts. Silly when it's too small. Hats look good when they're oversized, but they look silly when they're undersized. Okay, so this is not that, you know, my head is there. It's not that high. So this one is sort of like your British Trilby, like a Christie's roll up kind of look. This is a rollable hat. You could put this in your pocket. So when you get to a restaurant or something, you open it up, you roll it. Okay, let's do a slow motion, okay? You open the top, you open the pinches. They're steamed in, so they're gonna just pop right back. So when I'm finished, they'll just, they're there. So there's no guesswork. So popping it out is fine. Now, right now the head hasn't been steamed, so let's imagine it was steamed. You open up the creases, you put the brim down. This is how you roll a head. Brim down, okay? The long way, you know, like this way, you're gonna fold it in half, brim to brim. Okay, that's easy. Then turn it on the side and you gotta flatten it, kinda like this, watch. Fold it into itself and what I do is I kinda go and I fix it because it's getting ready to roll, okay? So now you roll but you do not fold, no folding into quarters, roll it round and loosely. Eventually they'll roll tighter. Let the hat just guide you on how tight. It should go in your pocket, a loose bag, breast pocket, coat pocket, pocketbook, nothing with pressure or weight. If there is like you want to really pack it in a tight suitcase, get yourself a shoe box, put it in a little capsule first. In the shoe box is fine, then you pack it. Or you get a big can. Cans are amazing. If you could find a mailing tube or a can this size, awesome. That's perfect. Like a big tall coffee can kind of thing. Uh, pretzel sticks or something. I don't know what comes in a can that big. I think liquor bottles, like you get a bottle of scotch or wine, they come in those canisters. That's perfect. Get that. Bam, you pack it. Um, that's for traveling and stuff. Anyway, open crowns, you have the ability to do a center crease on this expedition, I mean this explorer. Expedition is the wide brim. Uh, on the expedition, it looks nice, just a simple crease because it's a low crown. Okay, that's a standard shaping. But, you know, like if a short person comes in, I can lower the crown and make it like super, super low. Or let's say that's just your taste, like I hate high crowns. We could shape it as low as you possibly want. We could make a pork pie. You know, pork pie is... Or what you can do is you can have it unshaped and do all these things at home or semi-shaped. That's what I call getting this, right? Get a center crease pinch front and use that as a 
so you set your height, you know, use that as a kind of a jumping off point. You set your nice height for you and everything. But if you want to turn it into a teardrop, you can just do that C around the back and you got your teardrop. Um, and then if you want to turn that into a pork pie, bam, you use your center crease, everything the same size and height, you put it on. So you can buy an open crown shaped like a center crease, pinch front, and still get those three shapes. Because when you pop this out, it's gonna go back to whatever steamed in, which was this. There's like little footprints in there permanently. See? You're not losing those shapes, they're steamed in. That's why you can roll these babies. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing to do. You could just alter it a tiny bit. You could do a full teardrop. You could do the pork pie, you could do a diamond. Um, you could do a, a deuce trace, which is basically just taking one of these and pushing it down. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah. Deuce trace, everybody loves that one. You could push this out also. Kind of like a MC Escher kind of thing. Or you do it like that. Either way is good. So deuce trace. So, that's a good thing to do. You know, you get your center crease shaped with a good steamer, with somebody with a good eye that sets your height, you know. And then you could change it to anything you want from that point. The only thing you can't really get is open crown round because it's gonna show those lines. There'll be little footprints, open crown hats. So if you wanna wear it that way sometimes, you gotta just take it home with zero shape, just like that. Okay, and you learn this. Here's a center crease. Find the target, the bullseye. Press in and go to the, cent to, to the sides. And you see, it kind of stops. Much easier on the tabletop. Bullseye. There. Usually you're going to have to go inside like this kind of. See? And just fix it up a little. Smooth it out. There, center crease. That's exactly how I do it. Make sure it's symmetrical and stuff. Check it out. If you don't like it, just start again. Then I go right, not on the top, but right below the top. I grab it, okay? Make sure you, there's the back, there's the front. Don't make the mistake of pinching the back. Okay, go right below the top, and I stick my two fingers in the middle, like in there, inside, and then I pull back, just leaving a little meat there, you know, like a little tiny sausage on each top. Okay, then what you do is you look at it from a bird's eye view and you shorten them. You get them to the same size. So, okay, they're a little too long. Push them up. Bird's eye view. Get them even. There's your center crease. It's exactly how I was taught. And you check the front here. Make sure that's symmetrical and stuff, you know. You always go and correct it. All right. So what I'm saying is if you ever want to wear your hat open, use no steam, zero steam and you won't get those little footprint lines like when I tried to do it with this hat. So don't steam it. You think you might want to do this open thing, which is real cool, kind of downtown. -y. Just tell them, you know what? I don't want to steam it. And then if you find yourself wearing it one particular way all the time, then you could go there and say, you know what? Can you steam the shape in? I, I never wear it open anymore. I just want it in a... But yeah, you could always wait. Um, it's a good way to practice your shapes too. So yes, open crown hats are cool, but they're only as cool as like, you know, if you have somebody there who's got some steam and decent technique at making shapes. So otherwise it's better to just get a pre-shaped hat. Um, open crown is rare, still I like it. All right, so we've got to make sure we stack these 56, 58, where's a 56? It's a 58. 60 and 62. We stagger them. We have an even pile and an odd pile of course, so you don't want to get the hats too tight, otherwise they squish each other. So we got odds and evens. That works here. Alright. Here's an example of an open crown hat with a tall crown. This is the way they used to look back in the 40s and stuff. The Stetsonian. Okay, that is a super high crown, but I mean, look at that. Is that amazing or what? So this you could get into more freaky, you know, whatever, Pharrell kind of things or something. Yeah. It's super high. <laughs> Just having fun. We like to have fun. 
And same thing, you crease it. This is like a Humphrey Bogart kind of tall crown thing. So if you like that authenticity, you could bring it as high as you want or as low as you want. That's basically, it. you've got the fabric, you know, enough bagginess and neat to leave it high in front, low in back, or just lower it to the point where it's not so crazy. And bring it down a bit by just sort of rolling it into itself, into itself, lower it. So the Stetsonians could be the highest one. That's maybe not a great one to go open unless you just want to, you know, I want the highest thing you've got, man, you know. Some people just want to be, you know, like kind of fashionable and do something different. That is a lot of crown. Vagabundo, vagabundo. Anyway, open crown. Open crown hats are the most versatile hats. Um, so go try one out. Explore the Stetsonian, the expedition.